Meet Bobby and Paul. They need help finishing their laundry room. With two kids, two full-time jobs, and a menagerie of pets, Bobby and Paul don't have time to do the research on the products they want to buy. There's only so many hours in the day, and so it takes a while to, to research it, and then, you know, it takes money to pay for it. That's where we come in. From washers and dryers to countertops, cabinets, and even the sink, we'll show them what they can pick, what it costs, and why it makes sense for their room. On Buy It. Today to help Bobby and Paul make informed purchases for their laundry room is home expert Paul Hecht. Hello there. Good I'm morning. Paul Hecht. Hi Paul, I'm Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. Bobby, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Whether their budget is $100,000 or $1,000, my expertise is really in setting up someone's house. Everything from tile to furniture to televisions, appliances, everything. This is a beautiful, beautiful house. Thank you. We moved in about a year and a half ago, so the laundry room was kind of the, the last thing to do, but it's definitely a room that we want to be functional. Are you All ready? Right. I ready? Think so. Here you go. This is the laundry room. Okay. It's a laundry room with a nice Tupperware thing on the floor with, with <laughs> wrapping paper. There's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, that's kind of why I'm here. Yeah. And the wrapping paper in here is... Uh... Well, you know, my kids are invited to probably one birthday party a week, so um, I feel like I'm always wrapping, so wrapping station would be great. Uh, it's really just a functional room. I like an ironing area. I don't do lots of ironing, but I'd like to be able to iron on whatever surface we get. Given the amount of space you have, I would possibly if you're open to maybe new washer and dryers and possibly stackables, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think built-ins in yes. here. You know, maybe to hide all this stuff too, yes. have somewhere to hide those. Yes. And a sink, mm -hmm. countertops. I love that. All right, so we have a lot of items to buy. So the big question is, how much do you have to spend? $300. We were That's what we were like, of course. The budget that we're looking to keep this in is somewhere around $5,000. So here's what we're going to do. You will go off and work, make that money so we can pay for all this. Bobby and I will go out and look at some options. You guys buy it, okay. get it installed. I will come back and see how you've done. Okay. All right. There's actually a lot that goes into choosing cabinets, washer and dryers, countertops and sinks but I'll have her budget in mind and her needs in mind and be able to kind of narrow in on, you know, a few machines and a few countertops and a few cabinets and kind of make it, you know, that less dramatic and stressful for her. I truly hope that having Paul Hecht here will simplify the process because, you know, put it this way, for putting our grass in, my husband made me <laughs> research it for, I'm not joking, for a month for all the different kinds of grass you can get. Is that all right? Should I go shopping? Right. Sure. So here we are. We're doing your laundry room, so I figured what better place to come than a big laundry room. I figured rather than being in a beautiful shop where we can't like get hands on and play with them, you could come here and throw your laundry in here and actually see how these machines work. Okay. Obviously these units are coin operated and industrial strength and aren't going to be for sale at the local appliance store. But it's nice to get in here and actually see how they work and all that. When I arrived here, yeah, I was pretty surprised. I didn't expect him to actually want to do laundry. But if he wants to do my laundry, he can. <laughs> um, top loaders. Okay. Front loaders. Okay. Major differences. Load from the top. <laughs> Load from the front. Very insightful. Top loading washers work by adding enough water to the tub to cover the clothes and then stirring them around with an agitator. After sufficient time agitating, the water drains from the tub which then spins rapidly to dry the clothes. So our top loader. Okay. With our agitator right here in the middle, which you know kind of twists and turns the clothes around and can damage clothes possibly. Right. And you can usually get these for like under $500. Oh, okay. Tons of companies make these, so they're easy to find, easy to repair, but also um, these are much quicker, less expensive and much quicker than front loaders. So just some things to think about. Okay. Front-loading washers work by filling the tub about 25% of the way full. The tub then rotates to lift the clothes to the top, then drop them into the water below. This tumbling action gets the clothes clean without the use of an agitator. After draining, the tub then spins off the excess water. 
So here's our front loader. These use less water, oh. less energy. I had no idea. More capacity. But these are going to cost you maybe twice as much as top loaders. OK. But you can actually get a rebate from your local energy company because they save so much energy. And the other cool thing, for a tight space like you guys have, you can stack these. Their laundry room is not moving. It's going to be in that tight space, and she wants to incorporate a wrapping center. So if she wants all of that stuff and wants to use that room for many different reasons, I think she has to get the front loader so she can stack them in the corner. And now one other thing I like about the front loaders, you put the detergent and the bleach right in here. Oh, nice. Okay. As opposed to the top loader where you put it right on the clothes and can actually damage the clothes by doing that. Oh, I never thought of that. One more benefit. Other things to look for when shopping for washers are settings and displays. Does the washer offer you the cycles that you need for your laundry? Would you prefer a digital display or one with a dial? Also, washers now come in a variety of different colors to brighten your room, and some even have windows so you can keep an eye on your wash. Keeping these options and your budget in mind will help you purchase the machine that's right for you. So here we are at the dryers. Unlike washers, dryers are mechanically simple. Damp clothes tumble as warm air from either a gas or electric heater passes through them. Then the moisture, now in the form of steam, is pulled out through a lint screen in the door and off into an exhaust vent. These don't have it, but the, the units that you'll show your husband tomorrow when he has his credit card and you're trying to convince him to get these or the others, they have a sensor um, that senses how wet your laundry is. So based on that, it determines how long your drying cycle is. So you don't even have to think about it. Throw yeah. it in there, grab a coffee, don't even worry about it. So nice. Other features to keep in mind are drying racks for your delicates, a drum light so you can find your missing socks, and your choice of either a ceramic drum or the more rust-resistant stainless steel. Don't be too concerned with capacity. Most dryers have sufficient capacity for even your largest load. 